So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly whether or not you should get an APS-C crop camera or should you get a full frame camera just for video. I'm gonna get straight to the point. I'm gonna tell you exactly which one you could consider, which one you should not consider and avoid. Stay tuned in this video. I'll tell you exactly that from my perspective. So straight off the bat, the biggest, biggest pro of considering a full frame camera is that you get a lot buttery smooth and more of a depth of field. You get a lot better low light quality and you're getting twice the megapixels. Most full frame cameras are anywhere from 24 to even 42 megapixels and they have a way bigger sensor. So if you're a complete noob and a beginner when it comes to photography and videography, understand the full frame sensor is essentially a V8 engine and a crop body sensor is half of that and you're just looking at a normal, let's say, you know, a six cylinder, a normal standard engine. So crop body is essentially, hence the name crop, you got your full frame, which is here. Think of the sensors this big, crop itself is this big. So there alone is that you're getting more power, more better low light, and you're getting a bigger camera body. And I recommend that you get a full frame camera if you are solely doing high level video production and photography and you need to print these photos out and having these movies in like 4K, then yes, getting a full frame camera is definitely worth it, especially if you're, you in, are in photography, it makes a huge difference. And uh, kind of leads me into the cons of considering getting a full frame camera is that I myself have used full frame cameras from you know the, a the Sony a7S II, which is a full frame camera, comparison to this D5200 with the entry level APS-C crop body sensor is that the con is that you're gonna be spending twice as much for the lenses and twice as much for the body. And if you're in more of the digital age of like just making YouTube videos and maybe having a client project here and there, I myself, if you're on a budget too, would much rather have you get and, and enroll in the crop body sensor because a lot of the times, you can't tell the difference between a full frame sensor and a crop body sensor, especially, you can't argue me with that, especially on YouTube where you have compression. And even if you record at something along the lines of 422 10 bit, it's gonna get compressed and most people can't tell the difference from your naked eye from a 4K full frame sensor and a 4K crop body sensor. Another pro of using a full frame body is that all the lenses are equivalent to as is. For example, this is a 17 millimeter, but since this is on a crop body, I have to time in the 1.25 or 1.5. So essentially this 17 is actually around a, a this, the, too much math. I'm the 17 times, you're looking at a 30 mil essentially. This is a 30 mil on a full frame, but because you're shooting in a full frame camera, a 17 to 50 is a 17 to 50. So that is also something to consider, as well as when you're shooting specifically videos, a lot of crop body cameras that film in 4K, they actually have a crop factor, whether that's a 1.2. So you're already shooting at as is, but if I shoot in 4K, it might crop in even more and even more depending on the camera itself, where most full frame sensors, you don't have to deal with that cropping when it comes to filming 4K, unless you you have along lines of like a A7S2, A7S3, as that there is that 35 mil where it does crop in if you want to use your DX or crop body lenses. Another pro when it comes to shooting full frame is that you have the ability, especially the newer technology, especially if you shoot with Sony, or you can use adapter, you have the ability to use full frame and crop or crop sensor or DX lenses on your camera and Sony has technology where you can actually punch in and crop in where you can use a quarter of the sensor so you can still use all your lenses. Whereas if you put on a full frame lens on a crop body sensor, you might have some issues, compatibility, unless you, just 
things to consider when you're using your lineup and lenses. But I'm gonna get into why you can actually consider getting a crop body and who are the crop bodies for in the next part. So you're like, okay, Peter, that's really cool. Full frame is awesome, but what are the cons and why should I decide between the two? So if you're a digital content creator and all you do is you're thinking of just being a YouTuber, you wanna make talking head videos, you wanna be a coach consultant and you just wanna to talk to a camera, then I don't suggest you jump into the full frame line unless you wanna do high level video videography, video production, you're a photographer and this is your full-time thing. Because you have to consider the body and lenses that are equivalent. So let's say for example, a 50 mil 1.4 or 1.8 lens on a crop body camera, any lineup, you got your Nikon, your Canons, you wanna get a higher end full frame version of that exact same lens. Let's say 17 to 50, 2.8, right? Cost you around anywhere from 500 to $1,000 on a crop body, whether that's an A6600 or just, even the Cigna, for example, runs for three to 400. You want an equivalent on that on a Sony camera and you want it to be like high quality, you're, you're looking at yourself investing in a thousand, two thousand dollars plus for a G Master for that same focal length. You got your 17 to 50, 2.8 constant aperture. So when you invest in full frame body, also keep in mind that you're gonna have to invest in their lineup and full frame lenses, any can two times the amount of when it comes to your crop lenses. So take that into considerable amount just because you buy the body doesn't mean that's it. You're gonna be looking to spend $1,000 plus on your lens and your lens collection, even when it comes to third party like your Sigma and all of your other third party lenses like your Tamron's. Whereas when you go to your crop bodies, you have your more of your affordable and your budget friendly when it comes to your crop body sensor. So. Just to wrap everything up, if you have the budget, you have pretty much $5,000, then hell, by all means, get yourself that full frame camera, whether that's you know the new A7S 3 A7R 3 and 4, the A, whatever full frame your heart desires, get that. But if you're more on the budget and you don't wanna be producing high level video production, run and gun, and you're more of just the YouTuber or you, you, you do more of digital content for YouTube, getting a crop body, A6600, you wanna get yourself a Fujifilm X-T4. All my crop body 4K cameras, links in the description, I have the full professional YouTube starter kit. All that is linked in the description. I have a full list that the cameras that I actually recommend most people can't tell. And the reality is if you're looking to spend more than $5,000, you're more of a professional. And yes, by all means, you get better quality images and videos, but there's a point of diminishing return. And the more you spend, it doesn't necessarily mean the more higher quality you get, unless you jump to like, red, filming on a red pocket cinema, then yeah, but there is a point of diminishing return. And you're more, for me personally, for these YouTube videos, every one of sing, single one of these videos is still filmed on my Nikon D5200, Sigma 17 to 50 mil 2.8, using a ring light, have a hair light, backlight, shooting at 100 ISO, and you know, I haven't had any complaints on the quality of my videos yet. So until, all things like your smartphone and cameras and TVs, everything is 4K, shooting at 6, 8K. Crop body is more than enough, especially for all my budget shooters out there. Link in the description if you wanna check out all my recommended cameras that you should get when it comes to crop, you wanna invest in full frame, link in the description as well, the ones that I personally used and recommend. Top of line, you can't really go wrong. And if you wanna get my free camera guide, I'll tell you exactly my YouTube setup that I have. And you're watching Broke Vision and Collective. And let me know in the comments, are you a full frame or a crop fan, right? Let me know which one do you prefer, which one you hate, which one you like, why? Let me know, smash this thumbs up if you watch this far. My name is Peter, Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing.
but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.